Hello, my loves, Hasina here. Um, I'm heading out the door, but I felt called to speak with you and catch up with you. And um, I have no idea what will be said. That's my usual, but this felt very much like an impromptu uh, catch up. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Uh, I hope that you, have t you had some time off um, or at least moments of peace and quiet with your loved ones, whoever they may be. Um, I think, I don't know, we're always going through a transition and um, I'm starting a detox in a couple of days and I don't know if just that timing has allowed me to feel open to even more reflection. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, I think, don't get mad at me. Um, I know everybody hates cold weather. It feels like the winter's going very, very quickly and that's usually my personal time for reflection. Um, it just feels like accelerated. Uh, so I, I feel kind of like a hyper awareness to get grounded and think about where I am now and where I want to be. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm also getting over uh, not feeling too well. Um, so I share that for you. I hope that you use this time because I do feel like in a blink we'll be in a new year and um, Sometimes things move so much faster than we can ever anticipate. And maybe we're just too busy anticipating. So by the time it's here, it's gone. Um, I hope that that's making sense. But I do, the things on my heart, um, I feel more renewed. I feel more inspired to take, I feel even, um, more well to take action in the things that are important to me and the things that resonate with me and the things that make me feel whole. And I call on you to do the same in whichever way, shape, or form you can um, because all our lives are different, but it's very, very important that you find some time to be the you that you know yourself to be. We are given the grace of being here, being present, being with beating heart. And sometimes we forget. And sometimes we're too busy with the scheduling, the, the logistics, the strategy to just be and be here. And it's really imperative that we get back there or forward there um, because I think that's where that's where the light is I think that's where the ascendance is um, I feel it for myself um, I'm not going to lie to you because sometimes I think you know when we talk about spiritual things or energy shifts I think sometimes you know you hear oh well just do it it's gonna be fine just do it um, it's gonna be fine. It's always fine. If it's not okay, then you're not done yet. It's always okay. Um, but let's be honest that there's gonna be fear there. There's gonna be resistance there. Even when you want what you want, if what you want is very far from where you're at and you start getting there, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. I've never liked the saying, especially when I was at my most unwell, is that the pathway out of it is through it. Um, and so it may not be something that you want to hear right now, but it is so. The pathway out of it is through it. And just be as gentle with yourself as possible while you are going through it. But the life that you want and the life that is yours is on the other side of the discomfort. 
the only reason you feel uncomfortable is that you got comfortable with what's uncomfortable. Okay, let's change that. I love you. I feel so much love for you today. I wish you so well, so much well, so much goodness, so much wholeness. And we will talk again soon. One love.